Ebby wanted to be married on Easter Sunday. No easy task. But Maurice put his training as an FBI agent to good use and pulled it off. Cheers and order from all of Texas. Ebby, you are incredible. And I know all of Dallas and, and really everyone who knows you around the world is, is very, very uh, proud to celebrate with you. One of the things I remember most about uh, you in business is that you are, frankly, a shameless promoter. And so, like you, I want to know that we're going to celebrate today to you. Catherine and I will have some hall wine. Thank you, Abby, and, and have, have, have many, many more happy birthdays. Tonight, we not only cheer and salute Abby, we're benefiting her favorite nonprofit, the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans, which honored Abby in 2005. The co-chairs of this evening's event, all giants in the sports and business world, are also former Horatio Alger Award recipients themselves, Roger Staubach, T. Boone Pickens, and H. Ross Perot. Tonight's event chairs, Barb and Steve Durham, are also members of the association family, as Steve's dad, Charles, was honored as a distinguished American. Hello, Abby. It was just a few years ago when I had the privilege and opportunity to present you the Horatio Alger Award. I'll never forget walking on stage and looking me uh, straight in the eye and you said, Steve, I don't like to read notes. You've always been big for extemporaneous. So you gave me your notes and you walked up there and you gave a talk. I don't think the association will ever forget. Ladies and gentlemen, Horatio Alger member, Evie Halliday. Presenting the Horatio Alger Award is Steve Durham, representing his father, association member Charles Durham. Thank you, Steve Durham, my nominator for this wonderful opportunity to become one of the three Horatio Alger awardees from the same city. Everyone ejected from their seats with a tumultuous hand of applause. I thank everyone who has anything to do with this wonderful association. I'm so pleased to be alive. <laughs> Ebby, we love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ebby. Oops. Oh my gosh, what a difference one makes. <laughs> Hello, Ebby. Wow, 100 years. Congratulations and happy birthday. We're so proud to have you in Dallas and for us, proud to have you in the Horatio Alger Association with us. And we thank you for all you do for, uh, for the country and for the city and for Horatio and all the kids and the scholarships you provide. We just uh, are so proud to have you as a friend and wish you the very, very best, Ebby. Happy birthday. Ebby. Many, many congratulations on this great day, your 100th birthday. You are a tremendous inspiration to all of us. And on behalf of the Horatio Alger Organization, thank you so much for the scholarships for these deserving young kids. You're leaving a lasting legacy, and we just appreciate you so very, very much. Abby, I'm going to share a little secret that very few people know. Yes, we're classmates. Hard to imagine, but in 2005, Ebby and I were classmates in the Horatio Alger Association. Now, Ebby, I had a unique experience. It was an incredible privilege to be with you there on stage, but more of a privilege to be backstage as you gave your acceptance speech. And I was moved by three things. The first, I was moved by the teleprompter as he ran running by me, pushing me aside to get your attention when you ignored the teleprompter and instead spoke from the heart to deliver your speech. The second was I was moved by your words. The inspiration of your life story was amazing and inspired me and the entire audience before me. But the third and the most powerful of that experience was looking out over this incredible audience of people from Buzz Aldrin to Warren Buffett, people who have seen it all and done it all, and they were sitting there in awe, listening and hanging on every single one of your words as you told your life story. Ebby, you've been an inspiration to them, to me and to all of us. We love you and we wish you a very, very happy birthday. It's no secret that as well as being a huge Cowboys fan, Ebby is a loyal Mavericks basketball fan. She can dribble with the best of them. Dirk is her guy and apparently the feeling is mutual. Hey Ebby, 
Finally, it's your birthday. I want to wish you all the best. Uh, you're obviously a great Mass fan, so hopefully we can win the championship for you this year. 100 is amazing. Um, what can I say? I mean, we don't even have trees as old as you are, so I want to wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. People ask me the reason for my longevity, and I say I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't retire. But she does have fun every single day for the past 100 years. Abby's commitment to her community, her company, and her consistency to all inspired the Eisenman family and Eisenman Jewels to make this Pearls of Wisdom gift. I want to be remembered as um, a person that was interested in others and uh, probably fulfilled the sign Maurice had on his desk here, do something for somebody every day. She's done that for 100 years making certain that happy days are always here and now. What a person. Heavy, I love you. We all love you, Ebby. Your excellence, your beauty, your benevolence, your youthfulness. Ebby Holiday, the ultimate role model to us all. Happy birthday on 100 incredible years. It is my honor to wish our dear friend Ebby Holiday a happy birthday on her 100th birthday. The fact that you're a hundred and energetic and smart and capable is a miracle and a gift from God. We're honored to know you. We thank you for your friendship. Happy birthday, Abby.